the dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Welcome Jones. Welcome to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight on this Friday, April 4th, 2014. And we're going to be covering a lot of news. Now, of course, Captain America previewed last night. And I'm probably about the only person here at InfoWars that didn't see it. Uh, it's a tough job, but uh, somebody's got to go see the movies. And we've got some reports on that from Jakari Jackson and Leanne McAdoo. We promise we're not going to have any spoilers in there. We've also got a couple of special reports from Alex Jones. Instructions on from the government, actually, on how to deal with tyranny. Also, another special report on climate change. And we've got a lot of breaking news. One of the top stories on InfoWars that just came out this morning was on the Constitutional Convention and the specter that we could have a new Constitutional Convention to go back and revisit everything, essentially. Is that the problem? Is that a solution? Is that a solution? Is, is the Constitution the problem or is it maybe the people who are in government that's the problem? And what happens if we replace the Constitution, we take out the law that is really very good and we replace it with something else that essentially gives them cover for their illegal activities. Can we trust the people in charge now to run a constitutional convention if we make it better, if we make it more explicit, if we take out some of the wiggle room that they've inserted? Because there really isn't wiggle room. It's really their interpretations of it. It's really pretty clear. Is it going to get worse? Well, we're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about, of course, the Fort Hood shooting. There's a story up on Drudge Report about the common connection with this shooting and with other shootings, and that is... SSRI drugs, not PTSD, but the government has a long history of how they deal with veterans with PTSD. We're going to look at the past, the present, and the future, and it involves people like DARPA. And we can also take a look at what's going on with this EPA human testing story, which we broke here on InfoWars. The lawsuit uh, was started back in September 2012. Mike, uh, Steve Malloy with JunkScience.com had started his investigations of what was going on in North Carolina, and he had already broken that, uh, I guess, a, a couple of weeks before the lawsuit was filed, but uh, that was that was broken on InfoWars about a year and a half ago, and of course, it went to trial. They tried to get a temporary restraining order, so we're going to have an update on that. We also have updates on a lot of police brutality. It's just amazing how every day we're seeing more and more reports of police not even pretending to follow any reasonable procedures, just coming in as thugs, attacking people, invading their homes, pointing guns at children, locking down schools because they see a tripod. And we're going to talk about the logical conclusion of that and maybe one of the driving forces. There's a lot of things driving it. It's being driven from the federal government. That's why it's happening all over America. It's the way the police are being trained. They're being conditioned that they are no longer under any restraints. And of course, no matter what they do, nothing ever happens to them. We're going to be talking about another aspect of that, not just the push from Homeland Security. We're going to be talking about the pull from private prisons. We're going to be talking about a scandal that just broke in Arizona about private prisons. We also have some economic news. We have uh, some civil liberties economic news. Uh, Venezuela is enforcing fingerprint registries in order to buy groceries. That sounds pretty crazy, doesn't it? Could that happen here? Is it maybe already happening here to some degree? When you go to the grocery store and they, you sign up for a discount with your card, are they creating a paper trail that the government can then use? Because we've had some executive orders that come down that line. So we're going to be talking about that. Another the topic we're going to cover today is Judge Napolitano. He says we need to jail James Clapper. Yes, absolutely. And Judge Napolitano makes a very good case for that based on what 
James Clapper has just said, there are a lot of people, a lot of people in Washington that need to go to jail. That's why I'm concerned about the Constitutional Convention. Because if we're not willing to stand for the laws that we have now that are being broken, what good does it do even if we get a stronger, more strongly worded constitution? We'll be right back. Stay tuned. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. A few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. For a limited time, use the promo code WATER15 and get 15% off on all ProPure systems at InfoWarsStore.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Live Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water for your preparedness storage or your home kitchen. Purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. Councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military industrial complex. In Dallas, Texas, three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade in downtown Dallas. The first reports say that President Kennedy has been seriously wounded by this shooting. It is a big idea, a new world order. It was almost as if it were a planned implosion. It just pancaked. Either you were with us, or you were with the terrorists. believe that a lot of gun owners would agree that AK-47s belong in the hands of soldiers, not in the hands of criminals. Guns will be taken and no one will be able to be armed. We will yes. take all guns. For many of the police and guard troops, it is an uncomfortable job to do this in an American city. It's global governance at last. Is it one world? The central bank is in charge. But aren't we all just living and dying for what the central banks do? As for me, give me liberty or give me death! 
From the InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. Welcome to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. I'll be your host today. We have a very jam-packed show. And of course, Captain America previewed last night. We're going to have Jakari Jackson and Leanne McAdoo come in and give us their non-spoiler review. Of course, we have a review that is up. If you've already seen it, you can get our take on it our Liberty take on that uh, film, but that has some spoilers in it. We're not going to have spoilers because I haven't seen it and I don't want to know what's in it before I see it. And you don't either if you uh, haven't seen it yet, but we're going to have a review about that. Alex is going to be joining us at the bottom of the hour with a special report. He's also going to have one later in the show on climate change. The one at the bottom of the hour is really going to be on how do you deal with tyranny? You know, we actually have some instructions from the government on how to do that. And we're also going to have um, a lot of breaking news about Constitutional Convention, what's going on with the Fort Hood shooting, and something that is even bigger than that. And that is, what is the reaction to the shooting? How are people coming after guns? How are they coming after the soldiers? We see a lot of conservatives who are throwing people under the bus that they say have PTSD. But of course, as the article that's up on Drudge uh, our article from Paul Joseph Watson and Alex Jones yesterday made it very clear that the connecting factor with all of these mass shootings are SSRI drugs. Kit Daniels and Jakari Jackson went to the press conference at Fort Hood and they asked the question that everybody wanted to know, was he on SSRIs? Because that is the common thread that we have seen with all these shootings and the answer was clearly yes. And so that's part of the problem taking guns away from soldiers who are entrusted, as we saw pictures on the Daily Mail. We saw pictures of this soldier who did the shooting. We saw him carrying all kinds of guns, large caliber guns, rocket launchers. If you're going to say that the military can't be trusted with firearms, with sidearms, when you're giving them the state-of-the-art heaviest equipment, not even just firearms, but you're putting them in tanks, you're giving them missiles, whatever. If you can't trust people with those weapons, how you, uh, with a sidearm, how can you trust them with those weapons? It's very much like the TSA hassling airline pilots over nail clippers, isn't it? You're putting the airline pilots, they're in the driver's seat of the airplane. They can turn that into a missile if they want to. The same thing with the military. If they can't be trusted to protect themselves, they can't be trusted to protect us either, can they? But we're going to be talking about something that's even beyond that. And that is, what is the government's history with PTSD? And what are they planning to do in the future about it? And DARPA is involved in that. They have a very, very shameful history of the way they have treated. Going back to World War II, there was a wonderful expose in the Wall Street Journal. We're going to be talking about that. But before we start this... I want to talk about the Constitutional Convention. This just came up on InfoWars this morning, an article from Paul Joseph Watson. Could the U.S. Constitution be changed to eliminate the Second Amendment? He points out the entire U.S. Constitution could be up for review after Michigan became the 34th state to vote in favor of a constitutional convention. Article 5 of the U.S. Constitution states that Congress, quote, shall call a convention for proposing amendments, unquote, should the two-thirds requirement be met. And it was last week when Michigan lawmakers endorsed the move. Now, Representative Duncan Hunter from California wants this to start. And we've already seen a lot of people pushing back. Former Supreme Court Justice John Paul Stevens said he thinks that the Second Amendment has to go. Of course, uh, so does Piers Morgan. <laughs> but actually, he went and said the, and said the Second Amendment. But uh, Justice Steve Stevens says that he thinks that we could improve the Constitution by changing the right to keep and bear arms and making it only apply to those in the quote-unquote militia and not the general public at large. Well, when he says that, that means that he doesn't really understand what the militia is. The militia is not the army. That was made very clear from anybody who knows anything about the historical writings and the tension going back and forth between the militia and the regular army at the time of the Revolutionary War. There was a very clear understanding that the militia was the armed citizenry. And it was very clear in the Constitution that the militia was there to put down rebellions to defend us against foreign invasions. And it was very clear in the Constitution that the military was not supposed to be a permanent organization. They were not to be a standing army. They were very concerned about a standing army. We've had a standing army 
now for